Hello, I'm Norman Swan. Welcome to another Health Minute. What should you do for a child who's got a fever? It's very tempting to reach for the paracetamol. But the thing is that a fever is a natural response of the immune system to an infection. It makes the immune system more efficient. So temperature reduction may not be the best thing for the child and certainly won't affect the underlying illness. If a child is very hot and sick, they need to see a doctor to find out what's going on. But most of the time, common sense tells you that what the child needs is to be made comfortable with lots of drinks. Ibuprofen and paracetamol, fever reducers, probably should be reserved for children with a temperature of over 38.5 and who have aches and pains as well. There's been a study in preschool children of paracetamol and ibuprofen syrups either separately or used combined. And what they found was that time with fever was reduced better by ibuprofen by itself than paracetamol. But using both together in the first four hours didn't make any difference. Over 24 hours though, there was a benefit from using the two medications together in terms of time spent with fever. The trouble is that using the two drugs together increases the chance of side effects and getting the doses wrong. So what's the bottom line? If a child is sick with a high fever, they need to be seen. But if it's not that bad, then you don't need to jump in with fever reducers. Hold them back for the child who's got a fever over 38.5 and is starting to get aches and pains. Thank you.